everyone. Thank you for coming to my session today. I'm Dolly Wu. I'm the VP and GM of Inspo Systems. For today, we are going to talk about use case and trends in the hyperscale data center. So some of the challenges facing hyperscale cent uh, data centers today, how to globally scale very quickly, efficiently, at, at low cost. And there is a huge data explosion since 2013. So data is growing at the speed of, well, double every two years. And uh, according to IDC, in 2013, there was 4.4 uh, zettabytes of data. But by 2020, there will be 44 zettabytes of data. So, and 80% of this data growth is for unstructured and difficult to um, analyze and difficult to process type of data like images and video files. So how do you effectively process this data that would be using AI technologies? And AI technologies consume a lot of power, so how do you manage the power consumption and be able to scale effectively using AI? So the hyperscalers came up with uh, six different platforms to scale globally very quickly at rack scale. So, Facebook came up with OCP back in 2011, and Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent came up with ODCC platforms in 2011 as well. And then Microsoft contributed their Project Olympus into the OCP community last year. And then LinkedIn started Open19. Um, and then Intel contributed I, uh, their um, RSD, rack scale design for a software defined data center. And um, also in 2011, uh, I mean 2017, November, um, IBM and Inspur went into a joint venture together to develop open power platforms for AI. Um, so open power platform, it's good that it has NVLink built into the CPU core, so it's optimized for AI training. And of course, Inspur is the only hardware vendor that participates in all of these open hardware designs. And we are also a member of OpenStack. So Inspur became OCP Platinum member and service uh, and solution provider in 2017. And we, uh, our goal is to use the common building blocks from all of these hardware platforms, open hardware platforms, and be able to optimize and use the economy of scale to lower costs for our customers. We also want to leverage all of the resources that we, we develop from all these open hardware platforms to help OCP increase adoption. So Inspur contributed our OCP San Jose motherboard, which is the first OCP accepted motherboard designed based on the Intel Xeon scalable uh, processor platform, the Skylake. We are also the first to contribute the OCP accepted compute node based on Intel Xeon scalable processors. Also, OCP community has been um, asking for server management features for tier two customers because tier one Facebook, they have their own customized management features that are optimized for Facebook data centers. And tier two customers are used to having very feature rich IPMI uh, sets that they are used to on the standard hardware platforms. So Inspire Management has decided that we are going to contribute management software into the OCB community to help tier two customers solve their pain point and be able to adopt OCP platforms uh, quickly. So if you want to learn more about the software management features that Inspur is working on to contribute, uh, please go to our booth. We have a live demo. And then uh, today at 4 o'clock, we have an executive track, which you can also learn more information on. And another nice thing about the Inspur solution for the San Jose motherboard is that it can fit into both a 1OU and a 2OU architecture. Uh, unlike the Facebook uh, Tiago Pass, it fits only into 2OU. 
So we can create many more configurations that are suitable for different applications in OCP standard. So uh, I mentioned earlier about the Project Olympus by Microsoft. Uh, this uh, type of open hardware is really flexible. It has a lot of modular building blocks. And another nice thing about the Olympus is that uh, it has a server management uh, switch built into the rack, which allows the operators to be able to do power metering, uh, power cycling, uh, be able to do um, uh, server presence detection so that you can actually optimize your infrastructure utilization. And another uh, great feature in this new platform is the universal PDU. So when you scale globally, you got to deploy into different uh, data center environments and then different data centers in different countries have different plugs. So this universal PDU provides a uh, adapter for every country. So it makes scaling much easier and painless. And uh, Inspur is designing a four socket server for Microsoft Olympus. So if you want to learn more about the features of the four socket server that is optimized for cloud scale and for AI applications, you can also go to our executive session uh, today at four o'clock. Um, so uh, Inspur is also the largest um, provider of ODCC, and we ship over 60% of the ODCC platforms out there. And what is so nice about ODCC is you can quickly deploy the delivery uh, efficiency increased by 20 times, and uh, power efficiency, uh, it's much better. You get 15% better power efficiency, and it's much easier to manage and uh, much less failures in this architecture. I'm gonna show you some use cases after this. Okay, so my first case study is Baidu. So Baidu is currently the largest AI provider. It's becoming one of the most uh, popular AI providers worldwide today. So their text-to-speech platform is being requested 250 million times uh, a day. And um, there is very, very good facial recognition features supported by the uh, uh, Baidu AI platform. So in like, uh, just recently, um, a, a man that was abducted 27 years ago was able to find the, his family using the Baidu AI platform. So what's behind this uh, powerful uh, AI um, platform is the FPGA cloud that Inspire helped Baidu to build. Uh, and uh, it, it can do a lot of deep learning analytics and be able to process 200 million photos and learn the facial features of humans to be able to create a platform that is almost 99.7% accurate. Um, so, and also, Inspur helped Baidu to deploy these technologies in rack scale, optimizing their infrastructure very, very quickly. So in the past, when we uh, used traditional servers to deploy for Baidu, we were able to only deploy 500 servers in a day. But after we switched over to the rack scale platform, we are actually able to deploy 10,000 servers in one day for Baidu. So you can see the scale of using these kind of uh, open platforms. It's much, much better. And also, Inspur worked with uh, Baidu on autonomous driverless um, uh, vehicle technology. And this type of technology requires a lot of uh, floating point operations to collect all of the data and be able to analyze all that data in parallel. So we, we uh, introduced the 4U16 GPU product for, at rack scale for Baidu. And this is the world's densest GPU server. And um, another case study we want to look at is Alibaba. So Alibaba is currently the world's largest e-commerce platform. So their Singles Day, I don't know if you heard of Singles Day, but it's the single largest e-commerce event in the world. So in November 11, 2017, in one day of trading volume, uh, Alibaba generated $25.3 billion of business in one day. And that huge, and there's a huge growth in that business too. Back in 2016, they generated 
eight billion dollars on November 11, 2016, which is a 40 percent growth in trading uh, in e-commerce volume in one year. So to prepare for that day, three months before November 11, 2017, um, Alibaba placed the largest single order in history. Uh, almost $790 million, one single order. And we had to prepare all that hardware and deliver it very quickly within three months to Alibaba to be able to support this huge transaction volume. Um, and then the, the, because so many orders are generated in one day, 680 million orders in one day, and you process 170,000 uh, orders per second. So every second means millions of dollars of business. So the infrastructure has to be very, uh, very stable and fail proof. So using the rack scale platform, you get 50% lower failure rates. And that's why Alibaba chose to use the rack scale ODCC platform to power this uh, e-commerce platform. And also a lot of AI analytics goes behind that. So Inspire optimized the infrastructure to support all the floating point operations that are coming through every second. So um, using all of the building blocks that we've created for all the hyperscalers, Inspire wants to be able to leverage the same technology and help tier two customers to also globally scale and leverage all of the technologies that we have. So before I end, I'd like to show you the way that Inspur builds servers in our automated intelligent factory using robots. Here's a short video. Oh, it's not, it's not playing. Oh, technical difficulty. Never mind, okay, it's not playing, but um, the, uh, what I want to show is using robots to build uh, servers, we can actually reduce the human workforce by 60% and increase productivity by 30%. So for example, uh, with a human, to screw 100, 108 screws, you gotta uh, take um, about one hour. With a robot, it does it in eight minutes. So it's pretty amazing. Um, okay, let's see if the video would go. If not, that's okay. Uh, I am almost done with my presentation here. Okay. Technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, that's uh, okay. service. Oh, it came and it went. Okay. Try it again. Your turn. See if you can drive. Okay. Oh. You have it? It disappeared from my monitor altogether. Going to, going to the one, demands Oscar. of the ever changing technology landscape and the challenge of language. Oh. I'm on one. That's okay, that's the end of my presentation. <laughs> okay, does anybody have any questions? If we can actually get the video up, we can play it again, but um, now I can take some questions if you do have some. All right.